Shan Fess here, welcome to this video. Welcome to another update of Big Brother and Samzi season 4, 48 hours. And uh, Big Brother disqualified Bravo B. I don't even know why I'm taking my time seeing this. It's shocking, you know, great opportunity. Just lost under the thin air like that. So let me just give you a brief of what happened uh the reason bravo b got disqualified yesterday now after their thursday pool party bravo b and makeka were just having a normal discussion boys boys you know what men talk about only for them to end up talking about the ladies in a very dis Tabbing manner now big brother played a video for them and this was their reaction some of their reaction uh when big brother was playing the tape for them now before big brother played the tape uh big brother invited bravo b had a discussion in private then again invited uh makeke as well and asked him some question now, apparently that was his diary session Big Brother asked him question in regards to what he understands by giving consent. And he went on saying, the answers he was giving was the straw. Everybody's like, this guy is definitely not serious. Now, fast forward to that. What exactly did they do? They were having discussion where they were saying that the ladies are drunk. Specifically liama and sprinkle of z in the conversation but liama was the name that was you know coming up the most where bravo was like well since they are drunk they are going to take advantage of them and have their way with her and saying that they also went on to say look the guys around this lady especially uh gerard and uh, Sinai are too slow because they cannot handle women. Now, do you get the point? So they are insinuating that since the lady is drunk or the ladies are drunk, they are going to take advantage of them. Insinuating, you get my drift. I can't say the word. You don't understand what I'm saying. So yes, uh, you know, in South Africa, I, I hear that thing is really rampant so yeah guys that was it and uh, it was really really bad on social media a lot of fans were going crazy some people wrote a letter to their broadcasting uh, operation in south africa to shut the show down apparently uh big brother and zamzin was shut down due to uh, the same circumstance where uh you know one of the housemates female was under that uh, same circumstance where a male subjected the female into that i don't want to I, I hope you guys are getting what i'm trying to say you know uh it is it, is that bad so they threatened to shut the show down uh they were writing to their you know broadcasting corporation and big brother and zamzi or big brother has to take swift uh action that was why um bravo was was disqualified yesterday uh if if not that maybe they would have you know taken their time to uh, investigate or whatnot and uh, maybe disqualify him on sunday but um, the pressure the fans were mounting on big brother <laughs> he had to take action as fast as possible because sponsors are on the show and brands are on the show and if people start by cutting their brands it's going to affect business so uh actions were taken so fast uh in a way that uh you know big brother has to put out a media statement and uh you know take corrections and tell the public that oh, they do not condone that behavior on the show and as well you know they apologize to the public in general so yes 
uh, at the end of the day, I mean, the guy was punished. Makeke would also be punished even though he was not disqualified because uh, in any way, he did not alter. Um, he did not, I mean, <laughs> he did not say anything bad at the end. So he did not say much. Let me put it that way. He did say some, but he did not say much. So yes, guys, um, that is the update on what happened. Let me read some two tweets, one or two or three tweets in regards to this story because of what it was intense. A lot of, so much opinion. Let me read two or three tweets in regards to this story. This is, the sad thing is that the whole situation is a true reflection of our society and the type of people that govern it. This was just an important time to show pushback and restraint against uh, things like this. We don't care if it's a language barrier or lack of understanding of consent. You don't casually play about sexually, you know, um, someone. They are danger to everyone in the house. They need to leave today he doesn't understand english but he could sign contract to enter the show please stop making excuses for this behavior bravo b's facial expression and tone and spanish it tells you that he knew what he was seeing and he knew that it was wrong like yeah so yeah those those are some few uh you know tweets from uh, the situation and like i said it was really intense from fans who were really angry with the situation so yes guys that's the first and fastest uh, disqualification in the history of big brother uh hopefully he has he's going to learn one or two things from that action like they say uh wherever there's reaction there's always a reaction now away from that let me summarize what happened in the past um 48 hours on thursday uh these housemates lost their wager <laughs> yeah sadly they lost their wager guys big brother didn't give in, give the reason why they lost but yeah they lost their wager and another one another thing that was really nice in the wager presentation was uh taki as taki is not a real housemate uh you know big brother gave them a tax that they should disrupt uh take some of their props that will be using on uh you know presenting to hide and taki remind neo did perfectly well but on presenting their wager tax Taki put up a very good performance. He acted like he he forgot his, uh, you know, his lines. Neo also acted very well. She also acted like she also forgot her own lines, and she started crying on stage. Or more, it was so nice. Everybody was just giving praises to, you know, Taki and Neo for. Uh, Fahima, I don't know. A lot of people are like, well, it's because she is assistant, uh, Wabi, head of house guest. So she might, if she, if she, if she wanted to, uh, she might put, she might have put, you know, target at her bag or something, or they'll be suspecting them. So she did at, anyways, away from that, um, we still have the same or same, uh, is it four angle that is going on <laughs> with Liama, Sinai, and then Shirad, as well as Z. So, their foreign girl is still the same. Nothing has changed so far. Z and Papi, Papi is also, you know, their friendship is still blooming. Nothing much. Uh, uh, one thing I will mention is that Sinai uh, mentioned to the house that almost he is not here to disrespect his girlfriend. So, him and Z are just friends. Nothing really serious is going on. On their Thursday pool party, um, that pool party is one of the boriest, the most boriest pool party I've ever, ever seen. No dancing, nothing. The alcohol one, I was like, ah, the music was low. The alcohol one bottle for 20, how, how many people? Ah, ah. 
big brother waiting happen are you broke that was another conversation all together then lastly yesterday the arena games guess who won guys Girard, yes so na Girard won he beat uh mac junior to eat uh so yes congratulations to him he became the first housemate in the season to win the arena games and he won cash you know arena games uh you know it comes with cash so yes and also uh yolanda and papa ghost um, i don't know what's happening the two of them are beefing each other so yes that is another update right there yes those are the major stories major highlight for the past 24 hours hope you guys have uh, really enjoyed this update of course i'm gonna come to you again um when any anytime major gist happen in the house you'll see update on that thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in the next video